All right, guys, today we are doing a Bears seven round mock draft. This is based on the first round mock that I did. You can check it out over here somewhere. Um, again, it's just a continuation of that first round mock. What did we do? Now, I wish that this is one of those mocks I was able to trade up and get you a quarterback because then we can all just celebrate how great this was. But this is actually going to be the, the tough one. What happens when the Bears don't get a first round quarterback? And I hate to play spoiler, but again, you should have seen the video by now. Um, it makes things a little bit more difficult, especially when you look at the quality of quarterbacks after the first, basically, well, I guess we'll call it six. Um, it gets pretty dire, and, and I've learned that, and it, it's helping to inform what the Bears need to do and how desperate they maybe need to be at getting a quarterback, if they care at all about capitalizing on this defense that is still staying alive. So anyways, that's what we're going to do today. We've got, uh, what do we got, six picks, so let's get started. With the 15th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Samuel Cosme, offensive tackle, Texas. One of the hard things about the Bears is it's hard to figure out what direction to go in, especially if you don't have a quarterback. There's so many things. I mean, you, you don't want the defense to erode. On one hand, a lot of fans are going to say, we don't need defense, just do offense. The problem is, how many times have we seen a team finally address their needs and then the other side of the ball erodes? It's just, it's, it's painful to watch. Um, the offensive line has eroded. I think it was 2018, the Bears' offensive line actually graded out as one of the best. They're one of the worst right now. I mean, it's a slight exaggeration, but it's getting bad. So we've got to stop the bleeding. we got to get a, a quality player. Cosme is a great player at 15, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, we're off and running. With the 46th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. So at some point, we're going to get a quarterback, and, and we want to plop him behind a better offensive line with a couple more weapons. Uh, obviously, Robinson's a great wide receiver, but his contract is up. I don't think he wants to come back. I don't. I mean, I know he doesn't want to come back. The question is, if, if the Bears wanted to pay him, would he even accept it at this point? And I just, I don't even know. Um, it's, it's kind of a mess right now, and I think if the Bears want to even just save face, it, it might be best to just say, you know what? We're going to go in a different direction. We're going to save that that money, which makes sense. I mean, you, you don't want to pay a guy that doesn't want to be there. Um, he's going to suck up all that money, and he's getting older anyways. So we're going to we're going to move on, right? We're going to get a new wide receiver and um, hope that he can be halfway as good as Allen Robinson was for us. And again, we got the offensive line, we got some weapons. We're kind of stabilizing a bit. With the 80th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select. Jamie Newman, quarterback, Georgia. Um, I, I put the quotes in there because technically he played for Wake Forest, transferred to Georgia, and then opted out. Um, the biggest issue with, with Jamie Newman isn't that he can't be a quality quarterback. It's just that we don't know, right? He was a great quarterback at Wake Forest. Playing at Georgia this year would have kind of cemented him as in as, as if he could do it as a guy that can do it, right? He's got everything you want. It's just a little bit of a high risk, high reward. And at this point, if we don't take a swing now, we're just kind of giving up on this year and I can't bring myself to do that. So we're gonna take a swing at Jamie, New Jamie Newman. We're gonna hope that the upside comes through. Uh, he's a big body guy. Um, you can get it done on the ground through the air, the whole, the whole night, the whole package, right? It's, it's just, it's kind of a desperation thing at this point. And I don't wanna go another round without a quarterback. So we're taking Jamie Newman at pick 80. With the 142nd pick in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Ben Cleveland, offensive guard, Georgia. Now I know I said I don't want the defense to erode, but we gotta. We, if we have any chance, it's gonna be because Jamie Newman is competent. He's got some weapons. He's got a good offensive line, and the defense stays on top of things, right? I mean, it's beyond a long shot. But we still need more work along the offensive line. It's just not good enough, and we're going to get Jamie Newman killed over there. So now with Samuel Cosme at tackle, with Ben Cleveland at guard, with Amon Ross St. Brown at wide receiver, um, maybe, right? I'm doing my best here, I swear. I promise you, don't let the Packers hoodie uh, give you any other implications or, or thoughts. I promise you, I'm trying to get you guys to win the North, but it's pulling teeth here. We don't have a lot of picks. we got a lot of work to do promise you this is the best we can do right now <laughs> with the 176th pick in the 2021 nfl draft six round the chicago bears select jordan williams defensive tackle clemson so this is this is purely stop the bleeding 
right? Um, three of our defensive tackles this year are already free agents, meaning by the time the draft happens, if they don't get new contracts, they're already gone. Then you've got uh, Akeem Hicks and Bilal Nichols who are in the final years of their contract. And again, I understand guys will get re-signed and all that kind of stuff, but we've got an aging group of guys whose play is, is already beginning to decline and it is not going to stop. I mean, that's just the natural progression. You get older, you get less good at things. Um, and so we just got to keep that fire stoked up a little bit. I'm assuming, um, you know, Khalil Mack, I don't know why I blanked on his name. Um, I'm assuming he's going to be able to play at a high level at, a, at an older age because he's just a genetic freak. But we've got to be cognizant of the fact that there's going to start becoming a decline along the defensive front, and we got to try to stave that a little bit. I know six round 176 is not the best spot to do it, but again, i got to do something with this offense. So we're taking a swing here at the defensive tackle position. Finally, with the 198th pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Smoke Monday Safety Auburn. Maybe you don't want a safety, but I got you Smoke Monday, which is a sweet name. If nothing else, you guys can get some good T-shirts, get some merch, whatever. I'm sure you can come up with some creative stuff. Um, bottom line is, again, looking at defense, trying to keep things up. We've got Eddie Jackson, but as far as young talent that's locked up long term, it's him and then nobody. So, again, it's seventh round. I don't know what the expectation is, but we have to do something. We've got to bring in some bodies. We've got to get some competition. Maybe he's going to be a stud. Maybe he's not, but we have to address the position. So, uh, smoke Monday at 198. Well, that's going to do it for the seven-round Chicago Bears mock draft. I would love to get as much input as you possibly can in the comment section. I know I overlook some stuff. You guys know your team better than I do. Uh, it's going to help me out a lot in terms of what direction to go with the Bears. Again, there's a lot of questions, and I'm sure there's a lot of different opinions on how best to handle this. Um, maybe we just trade away everything we have for the next five years to move up and get a quarterback because that's the only thing that matters. But um, I don't know. Again, you let me know what you think. Otherwise, um, there are memberships now. If you want to support the podcast, I would really appreciate Appreciate that there are some benefits that come with that so click the join button down below to uh, watch a video on all those kinds of things otherwise like subscribe and I'll catch you next time